And the research shows now that even people who are trained, who are completely aware of the fact that larger portions have more calories, encourage people to eat more calories, and encourage people to underestimate the number of calories they're eating, as Brian Wansink, who's a professor at Cornell, has so brilliantly shown, people still fall for it. His own students fall for it. So here's one of the rooms here in the Food and Brand Lab. It's got one-way mirrors, hidden cameras, which aren't really too hidden. We have scales underneath the table so we can see just how fast people are eating. When we do studies, when we give people either a small bowl or a large bowl, something more like what we have at home, the typical person ends up serving about 23% more in these bigger bowls. And the fact is, they don't realize they're eating more because, you know, four ounces of cereal looks like a ton here. Four ounces in here looks like it's barely covering the bottom. So what do we do? We add more. We did a study where we took people who weren't hungry and gave them food that wasn't any good to see what would happen. This is a movie theater and we gave people buckets of popcorn like this free or huge buckets of popcorn. But this was terrible five-year-old stale styrofoam tasting popcorn. But what happened is if you give somebody a big bucket of terrible popcorn, even though they're full, they still ate about 34% more. And if you ask them, well, why? Were you hungry? They go, no, I wasn't hungry. Was it because the popcorn was good? So, no, the popcorn was terrible. And if you say, do you think it was the size of the bucket? To a person, they go, no, no, it couldn't have been. And that's why mindless eating has such an incredible impact on us, is that we want to think we're smarter than a bucket.